is. But anyway, we had a brownout early this morning, like 3.30, 4 a.m., yeah. something like that. And we haven't had power since. So it's been a very warm <laughs> day. Yeah, inside. <laughs> yeah, so we decided to come. We went all the way to town. We went shopping. We had to get some diapers yeah. and just some other things. And uh, we're hoping we could sit down there at the AC and uh, everything. I think everyone had the same idea because it's not just our area. It's this whole area. It's a very, very big area that has uh, a brownout. Or, I don't know, is it still a brownout or a blackout? Yeah, blackout. Blackout, yeah. So when we rode through town, no one had, even down in Toledo City, uh, no one had power. So uh, we People had, are at the restaurant drinking tea and stay there for yeah. a while. We were going to go to a place that had AC. Uh, but most of the smaller places where we usually go are closed altogether. They're not even open. Mm -hmm. And then the ones in the mall were jam-packed. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's no place to really sit with some AC. So we came here. Uh, there's a little breeze, but we wanted to get something cold to drink. Yeah. So come to Thirsty in Magdegal. This is probably one of the best places to get uh, milk, milk tea. tea. And they have other snacks as well. A really cool guy that works here. Uh, Give us. Yeah. Free water. Yeah, so really nice guy. So there's really good drinks. I asked him, maybe oh, so they good. don't have brownout because they still have ice. Yeah. But they do have a generator, but they must be not be using it here because there's no lights here. The fan's not going. They do have a generator for, I think, for some of the other stores here. But it, yeah, it's a good thing they do have ice. Mm -hmm. The cold drink tastes really good right now. So hopefully you guys are doing well wherever you are, staying cool. Yeah. <laughs> send stay us some rain and send us some uh, cool weather. Yeah, stay hydrated. <laughs> uh, nothing's better than cold water. That tastes so good. So um, we did check on uh, Rosie's. Um, the sand came in for their stair project for right now, and uh, they're bringing down some of the sand they did some of it in the morning because it's cooler and if i do the rest of it this evening uh it's a hard job to do during the day when it's really hot so we'll probably start that project hopefully tomorrow yeah. um rosie's husband wasn't home yet but i'm looking forward to that i kind of went there today just to kind of see the path again and it is in the daytime when you really get a good look at it it's not a very safe path um Especially when you're carrying heavy things with all the kids usually carrying the heavy things going through there. And then when it's wet, rainy season is right around the corner. Mm -hmm. So right now we're wishing for rain, but I think pretty soon we're going to be wishing for the sun. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, you always wish for what you don't have. Like yeah. in the rainy season, we're like, please let it be <laughs> sunny for a little bit. So right now we're wishing for the rain. But man, I think that first rain when it comes, I think we're all going to begin dancing outside in the rain. Yeah. It's going to feel so nice when it rains. Whew. Wow. But I think we're at 50 degrees Celsius. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's got to be a record. It's really, really warm today. But today, another update. I did. I called um, to update for Everly's um, citizenship and passport, U.S. passport. What we got the last time, the last video, was the Philippine passport. So that doesn't mean we're on our way to USA. Um, that's just the Philippine passport. As of yet, we can't just go to the Philippine to USA. Even though I'm an American citizen, it doesn't automatically mean that uh, Elderly is a USA citizen until we do the paperwork, until she's approved. So that takes a while. So it will happen eventually, but it does take a long time. But anyway, I called them today. And like I said, I already emailed them, I think five times. And I even I called them today and um, you have to go, it's, you're not talking to a person, you're talking to an animated like robot person. So it's like, you know, hit one for this, hit five for this. And after like probably 15 or 20 minutes, uh, I went to the final stage and said for the, um, whatever it's called, like the citizenship for your new born baby. So I finally got there and um, it said hit two for this. And I thought my hand is shaking, can you see my hand? <laughs> you guys, I'm not sure if you guys can see that in the video, but my hand is shaking. But anyway, uh, I got to the final step, hoping I was going to talk to somebody. Very good. Anyways, hoping I was going to talk to somebody. 
but they said, uh, the very final step, they said, if you want an update for your citizenship or passport for a child, for a newborn, email. Yeah. <laughs> so I've already emailed them five times. So uh, right after that, I emailed them one time, one more time. So the number, it's not really any use to call them because they just tell you to email them. So anyway, we're hoping, but it said, um, which hopefully this is good news. Uh, they said they would email us if there were any problems within two to three weeks. But it's been almost two months. So I'm thinking that there's no problems. They're just sending us the actual passport. So that's what I'm hoping. Yeah. So I'm hoping there's no problems. That's why we haven't heard from them. They're just going to send us what we need. So that's what I'm hoping. So keeping my fingers crossed that that's the real thing that's yeah. going on. I just wish they'd email me back so I can kind of know what's going on so we can plan. Because as soon as we, she has one more final step once she gets approved, once she gets Richie, once she gets her uh, stuff back, we need to take another class. It's like CRF or something like that, CFO. whatever it's called. Yeah, CFO, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have to do that, but but at least from my knowledge from you guys, thanks for the help for everything, she actually has to have a plane ticket to take that uh, course or that seminar. So I'm not gonna get a plane ticket until we know for sure for Everly. Yeah. So it's like, we're waiting. So anyway, that's something. We're just gonna enjoy our drinks. Man, they're yeah. so good. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll update probably with Rosie's house before we end the video. But that's kind of our day today. We don't have any power, so yeah. we're just out taking, get some fresh air out here. It's I super saw, hot today. Yeah, I saw people walking around with their bucket finding water. Yeah. It's, all, it's really hard to find water right now. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's it for today. Rainy season right around the corner though, so at least we don't have much further until we get water. That should fix that problem in a month. Hopefully less. <laughs> a month is still a long way though. <laughs> but alright, that's it for now. We're going to drink these, and we'll yeah. see you guys later. Yes. Right. We found a place to drink cold, because most of the restaurants are closed because no problem. Yeah. So, People in Mandalorian over here. Yeah, if you guys uh, know this place, Thirsty, definitely come and support this guy. It's yeah. great, great service and great drinks. So, all right, we'll see you guys later. Melanio, right? Melanio? Mm. All right, so that's Rosie's partner. So he'll be the one eventually doing the stairs. He's back from uh, Cebu City working there. You can see there's a lot of loose rock in here. Kind of dangerous when you're carrying heavy things like water through here. Even the pathway through there is not very level. <clears throat> Big one here. So it'd be nice to kind of level this off, make it more safe to walk through here. And this is the big thing here, just to make some safe steps to walk up and down. The rainy scene is the rainy season is right around the corner. It's not easy to walk through here when it's wet. Hey Rosie, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> Hina. 
There's Everly hanging out with the neighbors. <laughs> Hey, Everly! Oh, yeah. <laughs> 50 degrees Celsius and someone drinking hot coffee. Yeah. Uh, how's, the, how's the hot coffee? How's the hot coffee? I don't know. We're all sweating out here and yeah. we're drinking hot drinks. How long have you been back? How long have you been back? Coffee is hotter than the weather. <laughs> So here's an example of some of the chores that the kids do around here. There's Tan Tan up there, Princess's brother. There's another neighbor. They're carrying sticks for cooking. I like our neighbor. You're gonna carry both those back? Wow. Very hardworking kids around here. So here's the beginning of the path. That's Milano and then Rosie. Their house is back there. And I'm going to show you where we need to get the water, which is kind of a problem that I didn't really think about. Uh, of course, with all the cement, we need a lot of water. So I'll show you where we do get the water. So here's the path that they need to take to carry all this stuff. Hey bro, I'm not gonna walk all the way up there. I guess I'll walk around this way. There's another path you can go this way. It's a shortcut going to the water that way. But this is where they put the sand. And up here is usually where they put the materials for at least the houses in this area. Which is right up there. I'm not going to walk up there right now. That's where the sand is. And then we carry it all the way this way. If you guys have been with the channel for a while, um, there used to be no houses over here. Except for one, Angie used to live here. Uh, but our house was one of the first ones that was built here and there's no path here. So when uh, and Vilma and Papa Pedro built their house here, we had to walk through like the woods pretty much to get there. At least now there is a path. So it does make it a little bit easier, but it really doesn't make it any shorter, just easier. I'm gonna show you where we get our water. Hey! hey. <laughs> Here's some of our friendly neighbors. <laughs> nice, nice cup there. <laughs> Brilliant baker. <laughs> so they're building a house there. All right, so I'm gonna show you where we got our water. Hey guys. How's it going? How's the water supply? Very small. So there's our water, which this never stops, but it's just very tiny. Who put the banana in there? Banana leaf. <laughs> That's a good idea. So how long do you think it takes to fill this up? How many minutes do you think? Seven. Seven, Seven minutes? Seven. Oh, okay. Seven minutes. So one bucket usually is about one bath. But look, there's lots of these, so about seven to ten minutes for each one of these. And there's a lot there. So this goes here, this way. And here's the tank, so... We are lucky that this does never stop, but right now it's just very small amount of water. <laughs> Alright, so we're in front of uh, Rosie's and Melanio's house. And we're kind of talking about what we will do tomorrow. They're going to start tomorrow. We think we have all the materials here. We probably will need to get more cement eventually, but that's what we have for now. But the plan is to make safe stairs first, which is going to be here. And then we'll try to make this as safe as possible. And 
you can see it's very like dry right now but it is really dusty here and uh so i think we are gonna cement this make a little uh nice area so they can walk here and not get everything so dusty in the dry season of course when it's wet not make it wet in the wet season so it'll be nice either way either season so that's what we're going to do starting tomorrow this is like their outdoor kitchen they're going to move this over there for now and eventually all this will be cemented which should be very nice and then coming through this way We'll probably make a step here, a step or two, to get to the house. And here's their kitchen. They're preparing a meal. What? What, what is the? What will you eat tonight? What's for dinner? Egg. Egg tonight? Nice. Sardines with egg. Sardines and egg. That's good. <laughs> Sardines with egg. <laughs> All right, so here's the side of the house, and we are going to try to extend this a little bit. Maybe try to get a couple more rooms in here, and we'll probably do this with uh, just have like cowhoy to here and have it empty in the bottom. Make some planks there and there somewhere. You can see this is where. Houses where it meets here. So the plan was to make some kind of uh, extra room eventually when we first built this house, but now we are going to do it. So it'll give them some extra room here. So that's the plan. So tomorrow they're going to start, which is exciting. Someone's trying to get a papaya. <laughs> Alright guys, good day. So I was recording at Rosie's but my phone died. Hi. Hi. <laughs> like I said, our power went out, so uh, I had to wait till our power came back on. Luckily, it's back on. We got the fans going. Ever and I are just hanging out. Hi. Hi. What'd we do today, Everly? What'd we do? How was your day? So we went out, went grocery shopping, we got you some diapers, and we were loving apple juice. We uh, are trying to not drink any more like sodas or anything like that. We got apple juice and orange juice, which I usually drink at home. Now that I'm in the Philippines, I've gotten the bad habit to drink soda, which when I'm at home, I never drink. But here, I'm trying to kick the habit, and we got some more healthy drinks and lots of water. And then what else did we do today, Everly? Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then uh, the sand came in. We talked to Rosie and Milano, I think that's her husband's name. And he's gonna start tomorrow, All right? All right? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so we're excited to see that process. And then uh, the stairs is the most important thing to get it safe to be able to walk up and down there. And then eventually it'd be nice to extend their house. Right now they have a lot of people staying in the you know house. So it'd be nice to have a little bit more room, right? And they can have a couple of rooms, have more privacy. What do you think, Everly? Wanna add anything? <laughs> Did you have a fun day today? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> so that's pretty much our day today. We're just hanging out now. I guess we'll say goodbye. Bye bye, Everly. Bye 
Bye-bye. <laughs> I'll see you next, next video. Hopefully we can get started on the stairs tomorrow or very, very soon. And then we're just waiting for Everly's U.S. passport and citizenship to come in. All right. Bye-bye. We'll see you guys later.